Well, 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 look at here, Jackson, Mississippi. Looks like we got us a brand new F the round and found out grand champion. And this time, it's one of those damn astronauts I keep talking about. You know what I'm talking about. When their mama runs out in the streets, talking about my baby didn't do nothing. He was a future rocket scientist, engineer, or possibly even the aforementioned NASA astronaut. You can't make this up. Welcome to Jackson, Mississippi. This is the Clay Edwards Show. I am, of course, the f the round and found out king, Clay Edwards. If you're new here, this is the Save Jackson YouTube or Facebook page, depending upon where you're watching this at. You guys may remember a couple fellows that tried to turn Jackson, Mississippi into a scene out of Grand Theft Auto V just about a month ago today. Back on August 8th, they weren't just trying to turn it into a scene out of Grand Theft Auto 5. They were auditioning for Jackson to be the new host city of Grand Theft Auto 6. They were going to call it GTA JXN, GTA Jackson. Um, let's circle back here, and we're going to work our way to how this astronaut right here uh, came to be under arrest and charged with capital murder. Let's get just jump in the Wayback Machine and let's go to August 8th of this year. I love doing this. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You may remember this incident right here where a Dodge Challenger, the purple people leader here, ended up all up on the interstate barricade there, the concrete barricade right there at Jamaica Drive, you may not recognize the name Jamaica Drive, but right across the street there, you see Used Car Supercenter. That's the Mack Hike Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram right there on 55 in North Jackson at Briarwood. If you were to go up this road to the car and turn right, Briarwood would be right there, just for a little point of reference. Let's, uh, let's start this over. This is WLBT from that day, and then we're going to work backwards. We're going to show you the murder victim and more. Now to breaking news in Jackson, a shooting and a wreck may have caused you some headaches heading north on Interstate 55 this evening. That wrecked car hanging over the guardrail on the frontage road near Jamaica Drive. All those shell casings you saw there laying on the ground in a parking lot behind Pendleton Security. Now we have reached out to Jackson police to see if that shooting and wreck are related and we'll keep you posted. <laughs> if the shooting and wreck are related. Come on, Wilson. And a shoot Clearly, um, they're related. And uh, he didn't know this at the time, but uh, our fella here was the victim of this here Grand Theft Auto reenactment. Let's see here. Make sure I get it right. All right, here we go. Uh, again, this fella right here was, um, was the guy driving the Dodge Challenger. It's always a Dodge Challenger in Jackson with these guys. Uh, Let's circle back. This was to August 9th. Jackson police are investigating after a man was shot and killed on Thursday. According to JPD, the shooting happened in the 5300 block, 55 front of Road, Jamaica Drive. When JPD arrived at the scene, victim Frederick Smith, 30, was found shot and pronounced dead at the scene. The shooting is in connection with the I-55, with the crash on 55, uh, JPD confirmed. Now, let's look here. You can see this from the other angle. We got it right here. So let's see if we can make the screen bigger there. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so you can see the car all up on the barricade. Now, this happened because he was coming straight up the interstate there. I wish it didn't do that when you hit pause. When you're coming straight up the interstate, he just hauled ass. Of course, he was shot and probably dead at this point, foot just all the way down on the gas. He's lucky this, the car didn't flip all the way onto the interstate and hit some innocent people on their way home during traffic because this happened right at 5 o'clock. Like most of this carnage and chaos in Chalkway and Tarlamumbas, Jackson, Mississippi does when they decide to play Grand Theft Auto, it always happens right during the 5 o'clock rush hour, no matter where it's at. Uh, a fella got killed a couple months ago right on North State Street as two cars were racing up and down it. Again, auditioning for Jackson to be the next host city, host city of Grand Theft Auto, GTA JXN. Um, anyhow, so JPD was asking for the public's help in locating and identifying the individuals driving a white vehicle believed to be wanted in connection 
with the homicide. That appears to be a uh, Chrysler 200 or possibly a Honda Accord. I can't quite tell. The taillights look like an Accord. The body line looked like a Chrysler. It was from Watkins Auto Sales. I, I know that tag because I actually had that logo designed for them when I worked there. I still got the files on my computer. Now, that doesn't mean the car was from there. A lot of people were stealing those tags and running around with them on their cars in defense of Watkins Auto Sales. So let's um let's fast forward to today's video or to today's arrest. Our future rocket scientist, engineer, and NASA astronaut right here. Uh, kudos to JPD. We give JPD a lot of hell, but again, kudos to JPD. They got this one. They got the bad guy. Hashtag good guys win again. Now, U.S. Marshals may have been involved. Been involved. Who knows? I don't recognize any of these any of these cops right here. I'm not sure if they're JPD, if they're Capitol Police, or what. Um, so let's uh, let's read the story here. JPD. Arrest, I guess they are JPD. Jackson police arrest a man wanted for murder Tuesday. Investigators say Gennady Cobbins was arrested on multiple charges. That's our astronaut here, a NASA capital astronaut. Capital murder, conspiracy. And um, they include capital murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and shooting into an occupied vehicle. That was the Dodge Challenger. The charges stem from the deadly shooting on Jamaica Drive, August 8th. Two additional arrests have also been made. On August 28th, officers arrested Demarcus Jones, 20. He also is charged with capital murder and shooting into an occupied vehicle. He's not being held on conspiracy charges, which tells me that Gennady must have been the criminal mastermind behind all this. Uh, the other fellow, Demarcus, is being held in Madison County on other charges. I wonder if that's our guy that uh, was driving the Challenger the other day and threw the ticket out at, at JPD. Anyhow, a couple days prior, on August 26th, officers arrested 20-year-old Alexandria McDonald and charged her with accessory after the fact to murder. So clearly what she was doing was most likely run a cover for her boothang. Boothang, Alexandria McDonald. That's a snow bunny name. I bet that's a white girl. I bet that's a white girl. I ain't, you don't meet too many black McDonald's or black girls named Alexandria. Uh, we may, we may run, a, run a check through the Facebook people search inventory system <laughs> that's what facebook is let's listen to uh let's listen to the news here because it does have the mug shots of the other two at the end of this video action police have arrested a man wanted for a deadly shooting that happened more than a month ago Genedy cobbins was taken into custody on multiple charges including capital murder conspiracy and shooting into an occupied vehicle my baby didn't do nothing he wouldn't my baby wouldn't shoot nobody he's a good boy he's a good boy he was going to school to be an astronaut. He's accused in a deadly shooting on Jamaica Drive back on August 8th. Two other people have also been arrested. There we go. Now we can look at that without it um, without it going dark on us. It doesn't let you blow the video up there, but anyway. In that case, 20-year-old Demarcus Jones is charged with capital. No, no, Alexandria, black girl. Surprise. That definitely sounded like a, had a little hint of snow bunny to me so uh hmm, interesting little murder 20 year old alexandria mcdonald is charged with accessory after the fact well good job jpd and all parties involved there got a couple thugs right on off the street hey guys why don't you order yourself a mississippi maga shirt you want to let folks know where you stand that you're tired of them trying to turn Jackson, Mississippi into a scene out of Grand Theft Auto, or better yet, tired of trying to recruit that Grand Theft Auto for Jackson to be the next host city? Order a Fafo shirt. They all recognize it. They all know it. They'll all know that you know, that they know that if they mess with you, they are in fact going to F around and find out. And I don't know if I got that right there, but you know what I mean. Also, fellas, uh, you could be suffering from low testosterone. Let my folks at Men's Health of Mississippi hook you up with a complimentary testosterone testosterone screening. Screening was that word I was looking for there. <laughs> a free testosterone screening. Are you suffering from fatigue, decreased muscle tone, lack of energy, low libido, brain fog, or sleep disturbances? Text my name, Clay, to 601-327-8550. Clearly, I'm not suffering from any of those. As you can tell from watching my videos, my give a damn 
It's completely busted. I do not like any energy. I have to not suffer from low libido. That I can assure you. And um, zero brain fog. I may have a little fatigue, but as you can tell, I clearly ain't suffering from decreased muscle tone. That's a joke. I know my arms could always be bigger. Anyway, text my name, Clay, to 601-327-8550. Y'all didn't know I was also a stand-up comedian? Tune into the Clay Edwards Show every Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., 103.9 FM, WYAB. If you like the shirts, I forgot to give you the address there. It's byfafo.com. Throw it up on the screen there. Byfafo. Dot com. If your size is in stock, you'll be able to order it. If we're out of stock, you will not be able to order it. Uh, we'll get more shirts in here soon. I know we got some extra large, some large, and a few no, extra large, two XLs, and a few others. We also have some baseball caps, a couple flags, and tank tops. We got some tank tops available as well. Thank you. Hit like, subscribe, share, and we will see you, as my friend Kim Wade says, on the radio. Tomorrow morning, weather permitting, we got a hurricane about to come in, so your boy might not drive to the radio station and back, and we may just do a live remote here, a live stream here from the house. We'll see how it all shakes out. Stay blessed, stay safe, and avoid Jackson, Mississippi Democrats, and especially the gas stations they like to frequent. And you, my friends, will live a long, healthy, and most likely prosperous life.